Okay, look. I think some people have been asking me about my all my dating profile and history. The thing is, I was trying to match. Okay? I was trying to match what they were doing. I don't want them to feel awkward. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll do what you're doing. Which is just like... Um... You know, I'm just as awkward as you, you know, or I'm just, just as skilled as you. Yeah, I'm not trying to like convince you of anything. Also, definitely not. I mean, I don't know those guys, but like based on how they presented their profile, I'm just like, you know, I think somebody was trying to cover up for it. I met her through another person I knew. And she was like, no, like, honestly, it's their friends, like, trying to write their profiles. No, actually, that's not really what they're like. Like, sometimes, like, they get their friends to respond. And I'm like, I think that's you. I think you and her do that kind of stuff. But I don't think they were doing it. But maybe they were. I don't actually know. She, she raised a good point. But honestly, I think it was because, like, she kind of figured out what I was doing. As in, like, she's like, oh, you're just trying to, like, match those guys, aren't you? And I was like... Yeah, I mean, some of them were outright like, ridiculous, and I was like, why are you like, why are Arthur even like trying to date if you can't even get your shit together? You know what I mean? Like, that's super weird. I'm just like, I didn't get it. I was like, so they're like, don't even know how to say hello to people, and they're like, trying to like, get in their pants. It's fucking weird, bro. I think I'll leave it for this to finish up. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, uh, somebody did figure out her. She's just trying to match them. She's like, but I'm like, and then she, they're like, they want to kill me because they're like, no, you're not gonna go out with those guys, even though like, I'm just like, I don't know what to do here because like, I don't think they're actually that bad people, and I don't want them to feel awkward. But at the same time, like, if I just rejected them outright, then they'd get like, I'm not really trying to lead them on or anything, but like, I'm not really trying to like. You know, date them. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, okay, I don't hate the fact that I met this guy, but at the same time, I just don't know what to say because it's like it's not gonna work out because of that difference, which is what I was trying to say. By like copying what they're doing, like kind of not copying, but like matching how they're doing things, and then they're just like, like they feel awkward, right? Because you're like, is it that bad? And I was like. You know what? It might be okay for a lot of people. Like, it's not... I mean, it was obvious that's what I was doing. I mean, I'm not actually like that, but like... I don't want people to feel awkward, okay? I was like... We're talking... It's just... You know, we all need some practice in doing those things. A lot of people are born with these skills and talents and like... Just born better than everyone. I think people have to be taught and um, they have to go through practice and everything. It's just kind of weird that people think that, like, you know, you're, just, you're born and you know everything. It's like, no, you don't. Like, you learn things as you age. <laughs> yeah, because a uh, one year old knows everything, right? And then, like, it's like, okay, whatever you knew at like two years old is gonna be vastly different from. Were you knew at 20 years old? Hopefully, it's just added on to what you knew. So I only knew this much when I was two years old, but because of the age and the experience and knowledge that I, and insight, I know more so than that. Not I had to relearn everything, but you know what? At least I know stuff now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say about um, 
this white refugee and he's just like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, you're the one who's trying to steal from me, you have stolen from me, and you keep like, trying to convince me all my things is, oh, that's what he's doing. Yeah, he was trying to convince me that all my stuff was his stuff, and he does that all the time. Like, apparently he's been doing that to everyone that he came across, and they just pissed some people off because they, he was just using their stuff or taking it without even knowing the person, and he was just like, um, he would like use weird stuff as an excuse or like, I don't know, he would just like yell that they're discriminating or just like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, I'm sorry. But yeah, apparently he pissed some people off and I was like, what the hell? I didn't know what to do about that guy. In all honesty, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Like, this, this guy's insane. I don't know why he even exists. I don't know what he's doing in this country. And I have no idea why he even decided to leave. I mean, he has no legal status here. And he thought that, like, oh, he, I think he thought that that would be, like, protection. I'm like, what? No protection is protection? He's like, yeah, if I have no legal status, people will feel sorry for me and they won't do anything bad to me. And I'm like, what kind of movie La La Land do you live in? That's not how that works. Whatever.